You know, for a channel called Timeworn Stones, there's certainly a significant lack of, well, stones in here. So today, I'm gonna change that. Because today, I present you one of my most favorite things, like, ever. Castles. Do I need to explain what a castle is? Didn't think so. You can tell me in the comments if you want to make a video explaining castles though. I'll start the series off with one of the wackier ones, and believe me, there are a lot of wacky castles out there, so be prepared. It's large, it's long, it's on top of a rock, it's a bad idea to trip down these walls, that's for sure. <laughs> Built in the middle of Europe, in the middle of the high middle ages, Castle Achstein was, well, bad at its job. It fell under new management, got demolished or sieged plundered, taken more often than my laptop has disk space to record it all on. Castle Achstein and its history of defensive incompetence is too unfortunate as it had some real potential. Constructed as a hill castle, obviously, it was made to withstand all kind of attacks and for a medieval architect this was peak castle performance as it's located next to an important trading route aka the river Danube, which will be important later in the video, and it's also nearly unreachable on all three sides. Wait a minute, the, there's a fourth one? Oops. But not so fast, that one's protected by several outer baileys and a nice bridge. As you can see from up here, there are these two massive boulders and the castle wedged right in between. The main building and keep are on top of this rock, farthest away from the gates. But Steve, what even is that ironing board looking thing on that rock over there supposed to be, huh? Well, I'm glad you asked, dear attentive viewer. That's where the original, older keep once stood, before it got expanded in the later middle ages and split into several different sections for maximum defensiveness. All of this combined make Achstein a good example for great castle design. A few myths surround the castle ruins as well, the most famous probably being that of its former owner, Jörg Scheck of Wald, also known as Schreckenswald. According to old folk tales, he was a so-called robber knight, spending his time in the 15th century plundering, pillaging and all kinds of klepto-aristocratic antics. One of such was his little rose garden, a rugged stone outcrop next to the castle walls where he could watch unfortunate prisoners um, sitting and uh, performing gravitational studies. Doesn't look very rosy to me, but I'm not a botanist, so whatever. There is also the tale of the two robber knights, Hartmar and Heinrich, who supposedly like some mustache twirling cartoon villains from the 1920s, stretched a big old chain across the entire Danube river to stop incoming ships and subsequently lighten them of their loaded goods. Look, uh, I don't know what's wrong with this castle, okay? Uh, is it the castle that turns people evil or is it the other way around? So it's basically that stereotypical ruined mountain fortress filled with evil and generic wickedness you see in literally every fantasy world. I think I'm starting to realize why it was besieged that much. Anyways, after being burnt down in the turmoil that was the first Habsburg Ottoman war, where it was probably like, just one more siege, it was eventually left to ruin in the 1600s as the age of castles came to an end. It's a great fortification overall, in my humble opinion. I rated 10 evil wizard layers out of 10. And that's it for today. Did you like this new type of video? Tell me in the comments. Big thanks, servus and baba.